Hey, it's Chef Jeremiah, Blue Ocean Market, and today we're gonna do a walnut crusted sea trout with our soy brown butter. Uh, sea trout is great fish, it's inexpensive, and it's in season this time of year. All right, so this is how you would get it skin off from Blue Ocean. This is your skin side, you wanna flip that over, and you wanna check for any bones, because sea trout does have some bones in it. Here we look like we're doing pretty good. Got a few. And we're just gonna get anything out of there. And then you wanna portion the trout down into about six or seven ounce portions. And with fresh fish, you're always gonna have a few bones and scales. That is okay. That is that is what this is all about. So once again, those six to seven ounce portions. Okay, any little stuff you might want to clean up. And then we're gonna season them and we're gonna lightly sear them on our presentation side. That'll be opposite of the skin side. You always wanna sear this side down. A little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. Alrighty. Start with about a tablespoon and a half of olive oil. Not very much at all. Just coating a non-stick pan. Get that pan nice and hot because you really don't want to cook the fish here. You're just looking to sear it. Salt and pepper on the whole fish is very important. And what we're gonna do is put this back onto a sprayed, non a sprayed pan. And this is gonna cook in the oven at about 450 degrees. You can use a fish spatula if your hands are not used to getting burnt. And that's it on the searing. So for our walnut crust, we're gonna start with one half a cup of mayonnaise, one quarter cup of whole grain mustard. And this is gonna be our schmear over the top of the sea trout. We've already seasoned it, so that's nice. And this is what's going to allow the walnuts to stick to it and give us just a little bit of flavor, but not too much to where we cover that wonderful sea trout up. And then we'll go ahead 
Normally, I would toast walnuts or any kind of nuts ahead of time, but since these are going into the oven and they're gonna bake pretty, pretty hot at that 450 degrees and we need to allow the fish to cook, the oven will toast the walnuts for us. this into a 450 degree oven and that's going to go approximately 15 minutes. We're going to go ahead and make our soy brown butter sauce. In French we call these a beurre noisette. Um, brown butter is used in a lot of cooking, most notably Indian cooking. Ghee is the main, uh, is the main fat used for their cooking and it adds a lot of flavor to butter. And butter's already great. You kind of get this nice nuttiness. So we're gonna use whole salted butter. And we're going to uh, control burn the butter to get it to that brown stage. I used to watch the cooking shows as a kid, and they would say, I wish you guys had smell-o-vision at home. One of the best ways to know that this is done is that you can start smelling nuts. Okay? It, it, it smells very nice. And it'll burn the dry milk solids and they'll change color just a little bit. Now once I add the soy sauce and the lemon juice to this, it will not burn anymore. So we have to get it to our desired color before we add anything else that we kind of lift it. You see how it's starting to get a little brown on the edges? That's good. salted butter. There may not be quite enough in there. Mmm. Nope. Oh, perfect. Sea trout is ready to go. Alright, so we've got our nice seared sea trout. Put a couple, couple nice pieces on the plate here. We're going to do a nice ladle. Soy brown butter. And then for a dish that lacks color, it's always nice to have a little green. And that's it. We've got our pan seared sea trout with our soy brown butter sauce. Thank you guys.